Good morning, everybody. I'm Luis Artigas, sales manager for retail and hospitality in Eclair. Today, we are going to present you our new product, SWM44, a new switcher. This presentation will be given by Fabio, our product manager of video in Eclair. Hello, Fabio. Good morning. Well, thanks, Luis, for the introduction. Good morning, everyone. And um, thank you for attending this webinar. Yes, we will present in the next hour this uh, new product. Um, it's a um, switcher, HDMI switcher that has some interesting feature that we will uh, see, we will analyze uh, shortly. Just, just one thing, you can ask your questions in the Q&A area at the bottom of your page. Moreover, at the end of the presentation, we will share with you an inquiry and we will appreciate your participation. Now, let's move on the presentation. Fabio, see you later. Bye. Yes, the webinar is structured in three parts. The first is a quick presentation of the product, followed by a more detailed uh, analysis of the features. And finally, um, we will present an example of application and the integration with our uh, audio line products. So here is it. Yes, I remember that um, for any question, you can use the chat of the platform and you is uh, keep, keep us updated. So um, yes, it's a switcher. So it includes um, some inputs. You can route um, one of the inputs to the output. The available inputs are two, uh, two HDMI 2.0 um, inputs, one USB-C and one Biocast wireless input that um, I will present it in, uh, it in later. The maximum resolution supported is up to 4K60 with high dynamic range formats. Um, it includes a smart EDID management that we will see in, uh, in later, uh, it later. Uh, stereo balance audio the embedder, uh, KVM selector, um, it's, a, it's a USB selector that can be used also for other kind of devices. Uh, the control can be uh, via front panel buttons, it has a, a front panel buttons or with auto selection or via, uh, via RS-222. I, I remember that uh, um, uh, the auto selection is not based uh, on the 5 volt detection um, like the other product that we have uh, in the catalog uh, so far but it's based on um, signal presence so it's a little bit uh, better more accurate um, another very uh, important function is uh, that it can it can send cc and rs232 commands for display control or for third party control either we will see it in detail Okay, starting from the left, the front panel, it has a power button, a power LED, sorry, um, some um, two, two color uh, LEDs for um, um, signal present and uh, signal present uh, the, the LED lit in orange. And when the source is selected, uh, it will be uh, green. Um, auto selection function LED uh, one button for uh, for the selection uh, or for enabling uh, enabling and disabling the auto selection function and uh, two button for uh, CC commands for send the CC commands so for uh, switch on and off uh, the display and on the right you can see a, a switch for the uh, I did the uh, management and uh, we will see uh, the, this function better in the next 
uh, slides. Uh, so this is the real, real panel. On the left, a uh, BNC connector for the antenna, the wireless antenna. Two HDMI inputs, one USB-C input and HDMI output. Um, audio balanced output, stereo balanced output for uh, audio de embedder for the audio signal extract from the HDMI output. Um, the serial port for the RS-232 control. Two USB ports uh, for connecting PCs and two for connected um, um, devices like uh, keyboards and mouse and this kind of devices. Um, okay. Uh, and then, yes, the power connector. So, uh, the, the product comes with some uh, included accessory, the Wi-Fi antenna, surface mount break, uh, brackets, uh, rubber feet, Euroblock connectors, uh, a cable from DB9 to Euroblock connector for uh, the serial connection, and a uh, power supply. Um, as optional, um, as optional, you can use uh, our VO RAC support. Uh, this is um, this is uh, an accessory that uh, we design a tackler um, that uh, allows um, allows uh, to mount uh, all the VO devices and all, all the surface mount devices because it's quite uh, universal. Um, on the front part of the rack, on the rear part of the rack, and in the middle, you can you can see two rows of holes for uh, for cable ties. This is uh, the uh, rack uh, rack mount option. So let's go a little bit in deep with the functionalities. BYOD BYOD stands for um, bring your own device. And with this functionality, you can share your, uh, you can mirror your um, mobile device, or your your own device, um, on the on the screen on the output, using uh, our VioCast connection. VioCast supports uh, uh, iOS devices, Android devices, uh, Mac and PC with Windows, through. Um, uh, Miracast and uh, AirPlay. It can generate a dual network, uh, so you can connect directly with the with the device, or we, or you can use an existing uh, uh, existing um, network. Uh, connecting directly to the device uh, is very useful in many cases to disengage from network management policies. In corporate network, sometimes there are uh, the policies are strict, so you can uh, avoid problems. Um, and the, yes, um, when the device is connected to the internet, um, the you can update it. The firmware can be updated online without uh, directly from the setting page. So. We can manage the the firmware upgrade uh, from remote. Um, the web the web page EP address can be uh, hidden uh, in order to avoid to the end user uh, entering in the in the setting web page. And you can customize the SSID. So, uh, for example, you, if you can if you mount it in a in a conference room, you can. Uh, you can name the SSID with the name of the room, for example. This is a, a good uh, option for, um, for identifying uh, the device if many of them are mounted, are installed. Okay, smart EDID management feature. So through the deep switch in the front uh, uh, panel, 
you can select, um, uh, you have 16 options. Uh, the first one, uh, the default one is uh, pass through. So the it is passed by the by the display device. Then you can force it uh, with uh, ten presets, um, ten different presets that uh, includes different uh, resolution and audio formats. And you can customize uh, five uh, five edits. Uh, programming them via uh, via RS232, um, and yes, they uh, they can be defined by the, the end user. And yes, and the, the embedded audio is available only with a stereo edit, so it doesn't make uh, dumb mixing. Let's pass to the um, setting web page. Yeah, uh, the device includes um, um, a web page where you can uh, um, customize your natural setting, your uh, image image settings. You can customize the SSD, uh, SSID, and yeah, the the option that you can find uh, in the manual. This is uh, very useful because it doesn't need a software for programming, it, everything is uh, in its own web server. USB uh, selection feature. Um, yes, in the rear, the rear panel, um, you have seen uh, some USB ports to, uh, to uh, the host ports are intended for connecting PCs. And the device port is like an hub, uh, um, and uh, are, are intended for connecting devices such, such as uh, keyboards, mouse, uh, webcam, USB microphone in conference room. So when you uh, select, for example, uh, input one, HDMI one, uh, the host one port, um, is connected to the two devices port. It's like a, a classic KVM selector. And in case of USB-C connection, um, um, yes, uh, the, the selection is the same, but in this case, the USB cable includes um, video, USB, and uh, also uh, this product offers a, a battery recharge up 60 watts of power. This can be useful in a conference room, for example. This is another interesting feature. Um, yes, let's go with the next. Control feature. Yes, the control um, can be via RS-232 or uh, via um, TCPP using our new um, converter, our uh, ETH-232 adapter. That is a new product that we, uh, it's, it's uh, just has been added to, to the catalog. And uh, in case we have um, monitor to control or other um, external devices, uh, there's an, an, um, an interesting feature that um, allows to send automatically um, um, CC and RS-222 command when the video signal is detected. For example, I, I connect uh, my, my HDMI input and um, the device will auto automatically sense CC and RS-232 command. Same, uh, so I can switch on the, the display, for example. I can recall a preset on a MIMO. I can send uh, another command for another third-party device. Same for uh, when, I, uh, when the signal is no more detected. Uh, I can switch off automatically the, the display, for example. 
And then I can also um, send RS232 commands uh, for uh, sending CC commands. So, for example, I can program a USCP panel um, sending uh, uh, an RS232 command to the switcher and he sends a CC command um, uh, through the HDMI. This is another um, in interesting control feature. Okay, let's uh, see an application example. Other room, other room um, are quite common in the last uh, years. Are um, small collaboration room intended for uh, a very small number of people where um, you can uh, for example um, present your present uh, your product so you can have a presentation and sharing your contents in a, in a monitor mounted in the in the room or uh, it's possible to um, have a um, um, video conference with the modern platforms of uh, video conference like Skype, Zoom, etc. Along with the uh, new MIMO 4040 conference that we, it's a new product that we will present in the next weeks that uh, it includes um, Echo Counselor. Um, Along with this device, you can have a, a very good solution for the, this kind of application. Um, yes, uh, you can, with the new MIMO conference, you can manage up to four independent room with the uh, audio echo cancelling. And um, uh, yes, with, with both this product, you can offer uh, to the customer a good solution for um, yes for for other rooms with advanced function like uh, echo counseling how to mix and control uh, for video and also uh, wireless uh, mirroring option let's see an example of this kind of application. For example, if you have a room monitor installed in the other room and a, a webcam, a wide angle webcam, for example, this one that I'm using in the other rooms, um, you can connect with your PC with the Zoom or Skype for a video conference. And imagine that. The, the audio system is managed with a, a, a MIMO 44. It can be with uh, echo cancelling or, or without because the modern software uh, includes echo cancellers, so it depends by the application. But if the, the audio is managed uh, by a, a matrix with Dante, Using a Dante, a Dante AVO USB converter, you can um, uh, manage it like a USB device. So, uh, just connecting the USB-C to your uh, to your laptop, you can switch uh, switch on the monitor. You can. Um, select automatically the source the usb -C, uh, the usb -C source um, sharing your content on the display uh, you have the usb uh, selection um, zone so you have the usb uh, c devices ready for uh, for your software for your skype uh, for your uh, conference software uh, and then and then you can send also a verse 22 command uh, to an external device like we call like you can we call a preset on a memo and everything just connecting one cable 
everything automatically. It's, it's a quite good solution. So this is just for uh, understanding the, the potential of, of this product. Um, yes, and also if you can, uh, if you want to share content via uh, VOCast, um, you can do it after the connection, yes, uh, after the, uh, the for, for presentation, for presentation purpose. Uh, the VOCAS can be used. Um, far too much, yes, you can use a UCP panel for control the rooms. You can see an example. This is an example of, of control with the um, video selection uh, section with the audio control with presets for presentation mode, conference mode, uh, recording presets on the on the memo, for example, volume control, etc. This is a very uh, interesting solution. Yes, thank you for your time. Thanks, Fabio.